Hello and welcome to another video from the only source of information that you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's video is actually a video I made two or three years ago and a few of the, those are going to start popping up more and more because uh, there was a time when I stopped making videos and people kept asking me how are you doing, when are you, why are you not making videos and I finally just came out and said well my computer's no longer working, and my camera's no longer working, my audio gear's no longer working. And as soon as I get the money to, uh, you know, replace all of those things, I'll go ahead and start making videos again. And I thought I would, but as I'm saving money to replace all that gear, my appliances all end up going out, started having problems with the house, problems with the car, problems with my lawnmower. And so I finally just went ahead and submitted to allowing people to donate money. So I put a PayPal button on my channel, I announced it, and suddenly I had so much money I could do all of the things that I needed to do, plus I, you know, I could replace all of my gear. So I got a really nice camera, a really nice audio recorder, a brand new, uh, brand new editing software, and a brand new computer. The problem was I got all that stuff at the same time. And so no matter what I did, I always messed something up. I forgot to press the right button on the recorder or the uh, forgot to press the right button on the, on the camcorder. And so I ended up with a whole lot of footage where I had no audio. I ended up with audio where I had no video. And then I couldn't even figure out the editing program. So I put a lot of stuff in folders and just stored it on my hard drive. And so that's what you're going to see today. There was a time when this corner was completely piled up with junk. And, uh, well, it wasn't too much junk. I had a, a bunch of appliances on the porch that needed to be hauled off, and then I had some old barbecue grills and an old trailer here. And someone convinced me that if I fixed the trailer, I could haul all these appliances and all this junk and make about 100 bucks. Well, the reality is that little trailer would have taken three loads to make that 100 bucks, and the 100 bucks was probably closer to 50 bucks, and plus, I knew that there was a, a risk of the trailer breaking in half or me wrecking the car or getting a flat tire going into the scrapyard and I just didn't think it was worth it. But back then, that was the plan, to fix a trailer and haul stuff to the scrapyard. And uh, the only really good thing came out of that is I did fix the trailer. I was going to have it hauled off for scrap. So now you get to see part of that process another video from the only channel that you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it and today's video is going to be me getting this uh, trailer fixed and pulled out of here it's been in the way for a few years uh, I was using it on a regular basis I always had to put air in the tires because they leaked uh, one day I went to put air in one of the tires and it wouldn't take air so I took the tire off to fix it and it wasn't the tire it was the rim that had rusted out uh, new tires and rims for this trailer at the time was, uh, I think, $240, and it's probably an $800 trailer. It needed lights. It had been in a wreck. I just decided it wasn't worth it to fix it. Uh, so I called a friend. He came over here and took the rim. He was going to go. He said that he didn't want to uh, see it go into the uh, scrapyard. So he, he was going to come pick the thing up, and he never did. He brought the rim back to his shop, thinking that he would weld it shut, but there was it was really rusty. There was no welding the holes fixed on this. So anyways, it's been sitting here for uh, three years now, in the way, and I decided that I had to do something with it. And since I've got a little extra money now, and my computer woes have been taken care of, I'm doing a lot of chores around the house, uh, fix, fixing the leak in the roof, fixing uh, termite damage, fix, fixing all of my appliances, uh, and we're not talking about a lot of money here, it's like 120 is what I finally got this tires and rims for. I'll show you those. Yeah, there, there's my new tires and rims, and there is the trailer that they're going on. All right, this stuff here is called PB Blaster, and I've been using it for a couple of months. Uh, when I was a kid, Daddy always used some stuff called penetrating oil. I think it's liquid wrench, and uh, I and I needed to go get 
something because my I was out of WD-40, but I figured if uh, I'm going to do this, I might as well do it right. So I went online, looked it up to see whether WD-40 was better for loosening stuff up or liquid wrench. And the answer was PB Blaster. I can't say that it's better or worse. Uh, I think they're probably all about the same, but uh, all these boards where people were talking about it, they said that PB Blaster is the best. So we'll see if this is going to come loose. This is probably going to turn into a big problem because everything on here has been sitting so long. Oh, she got the wrong size socket. Okay, I'm gonna get a tag for this thing. If I gotta renew the tag I already had, it's gonna probably cost. I got one more to get off of here, and we'll get my jack out. Better. Not more better. Easy. I actually did come over here just to make sure it would turn before I. $120 on trailer rims. Oh! In fact, you know what? I'm going to get a. I got a wire brush that's a stick. I'm going to get that. Run that through here. Getting ahead of myself a little bit. Oh. These are all really tight. I know I'm going to have to struggle with them. All right, everything started, and that one does, ooh, that's doing nice. Maybe I need to just right down the center. It's like $7 a can. I don't normally waste stuff like that, but that's, this can will still last me the rest of my life, probably. Stay still long enough for me to put these lug nuts on here. This trailer actually didn't turn out bad at all. Um, it's probably less than $800 trailer, and I ended up wasting four days of my life fixing it. And it cost over $100, probably 200 bucks for wheels and uh, tail lights. And I actually bought a couple of cans of black spray paint too, but uh, I never did put that on, simply because I realized that if I sprayed over this, it would just come back rust in a short amount of time. Uh, anyway, here's the lights. And, you know, they have these really, really cheap trailer lights, and that's what I put on it when I first got the trailer. But they just, uh, you don't, you really don't want those. They, they don't last long at all. I probably got six months out of them before they stop working, and then a, a year later they were crumbled into dust. The wiring, you can see. That's another reason I didn't want to spray paint, because I wired it first, and then I thought, I don't want black spray paint on my wires. Yep, I got a usable trailer. The only problem is I don't like I don't like pulling a trailer.
don't want to survive, don't listen to me. And for everybody who helped pay for this trailer, thank you.